Okay. So start in a squat. You're actually going to start in a squat. Everybody has a block. Great. You made it. We can squish over. Yeah. I've got a heater going, so you should feel a little. So if you have a block, Laura, you need blocks? Mom, do you mind grabbing those cork blocks for Laura in the closet? Take the block and sit on it, even if you're really flexible. Yeah. And then take your heels in and your toes out, kind of like a duck walk. I'm getting you a nice cork block. Use the back of your triceps to press open. And I always like, it's important to remember this, that you want to turn your fingers out a little. It's a very simple gesture. Like someone needs this more than us. Right. Close your eyes and just feel. Lengthen your tailbone. Thanks. I like the quirks because you could even do two if you need to. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes and just breathe. And just feel, like feel little things. Like are you rolling into the inner arches of your feet? If you're not into closing your eyes, just pick a spot to focus on. Right. And then you want to draw the shoulder blades back and down your back. Uh-huh. So your heart begins to open a little. And we begin to find a long spine. Now create a little bit more tension with the elbows to the inner thighs, like you're pressing open, like you would like in a extended side angle or something like that. And just breathe. Couple more cycles of breath. As we begin to feel our way through the practice this morning, I remind myself that sometimes doing less in the practice is actually more effective than going all out some days. Some days it's the opposite. Blink the eyes open. You're going to start to creep up off the block, okay? Just move it forward and walk your feet in so they're about the width or a little bit more narrow and rest your arms on the tops of your thighs. I call this porta potty squat. And this has come in handy quite a bit over the course of the past few months of my life. Yes. Yes. As we approach the portage on, I go, I got this. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. So just breathe. So you're resting your elbows on the tops of the thighs. My hands are clasped now and a fist. And the weight you'll notice wants to kind of shift forward, bring it back. And then create a little up dog in your chest here. So a little tiny baby pinching of the upper shoulder blades as your chest leads forward, your neck is neutral, plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Perfect. Stay with it. I haven't forgotten about you why I moved the furniture. Yep. Couple more breaths. Okay. Now keep your hips super low and bring your arms up. So Laura, see if you can turn your knees in a little and your feet forward. Perfect. Great. Just so we keep the alignment of our body. Couple more breaths. Weight in the heels. Little more up dog in the chest. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer and heart, drop your arms, bring your feet hips with distance. Good. Stand tall for a second, palms face open, shoulders draw down the back. Enjoy the crisp, cool air. Arms sweep straight up towards the sky. You're going to dive over bent knees and let your head go. You're going to come to the fingertips, long spine to prepare, or I've been doing hands into the front of the shins. It works kind of nice, but you want to really press and create extension. And then exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. These are amended sun A's, okay? Here we go, try it again. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips or simply just press your hands into your shins and find extension, weight forward, you got it. Exhale, fold again and let your head go if you can. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. So you have to kind of get out of your own way and just let your body move. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs, let the head go. Long spine on the inhale, fingertips can line up with the toes or hands to your shins. 
Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag the hands to prayer, drop the arms. Arm slide straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let the head go. Long spine on the inhale, just take two big steps, you pick which leg, back to a plank and find plank and hold. So as you find the plank this morning, anchor through your hands, spread the palms really wide, contract the sides of your triceps, draw the navel to the back of the spine, fire up your quadriceps, squeeze your outer ankles in. And then what I want everyone to do is rock your weight all the way forward on your tippy toes. So you're leading with your heart and chest. These look awesome. Pick a dristy, a focal spot and hold. Press down with your hands. Draw the navel, the pit of the navel in and up. Couple more cycles of breath. If it's too rigorous or much uh, too intense this morning, just simply drop your knees, lengthen your tailbone. <clears throat> Hips up and back, downward facing dog. That's my brother calling. Is the eye of the storm happening? Because he was just calling me. He doesn't realize what time it is. Sorry about that. Downward facing dog. Take up a lot of space in your mat in this down dog here. Yes. Okay, so how this is going to go, plug the hands down, soften a little behind the knees, breathe your hips up super high in this down dog, let your head just fall soft. Your knees can have as much bend as they need this morning to make it feel good. Or if you feel like you've got a lot of extension through the back side of the body, see if you can lengthen and mount the heel towards the floor. And that's going to give you a greater stretch. Good. So from down dog, you're going to roll forward to a plank position, lead with the heart and chest. You're going to drop your knees. They're going to be out in the, on an angle. Keep the toes uh, curled into the mat if you can. Shift the weight forward, bend your elbows in half to a supported push up. You can just lower a little bit this morning. Re straighten your arms to a supported plank, keeping the toes curled. Slide the hips back to a child's pose like this with your legs together, your knees together, your arms anchoring forward, and your toes curled into the mat. Feels funny. Good. Lift the hips up and back, down dog. So we're going to do a few cycles of breath just like this. It's kind of mild and nice. Roll forward, plank. Drop your knees so they're on an angle behind you. Keep the toes curled. Those all look excellent. Lower halfway at most. It could be a micro push-up if something's going on. Restraighten your arms to a supported plank. You got it. Slide your seat back. Keep the toes the way they are. And it's almost like a little puppy dog child's pose. Hips up and back, down dog. Mouth the heels down towards the ground. One more time, roll forward plank position. Lead with your heart and chest. Drop your knees so they're on an angle. Halfway at most. You got it. Restraighten the push up. Slide your seat back. Yeah. So you're getting a stretch to the base of the foot, which is kind of nice. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Look to the top of the mat. You can step, you can float your feet there this morning. I don't know how much energy you all have. Long spine on the inhale. Exhale, fold into yourself. Let your head go. Root to rise, come all the way up. Get a little head rush if you're lucky. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. Here we go. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Go big. And then dive over bent knees forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine to prepare you step or float through a vinyasa so you can just step step to plank lower halfway to a push-up that works it's up dog or baby cobra i don't know what feels good in your body today maybe nothing hips up and back downward facing dog deep breath in nice full exhale breath out let yourself just move through the practice take the worry out Look where you want to go. You can step. You can float your feet to the top of the mat. Long spine. Keep that weight forward. Excellent. Exhale. Fold into yourself. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. We go again. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Go big. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Let your head go if you can. 
Long spine sets you up. Hands can also come to your shins. You can step, step. You can float through a vinyasa. It's up to you. Upward facing pulls you through. You want to press even through your hands and the tops of the feet. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Look where you want to go, step or float, top of that. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Hands to prayer at heart. My kids can't stand it when they get in my car and I play this really, really loud. It's like Indian music. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. They're like, what's in the yoga music, mom? Dive over, bend knees, forward, fold. It's embarrassing. Long spines repair. Step, step, or float through a vinyasa. I'm like, that is for a podcast. Right, upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. So now you're just moving and grooving, getting the cobwebs out. Spread the toes wide across the mat. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Get there light. Nice, long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Good, root to rise, come all the way up. Hands to prayer at heart. I'm going to put this behind so it's away from the computer. Good, root to, arms slide straight up towards the sky. Go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine to prepare you, step or float through your vinyasa. So you can add or subtract push-ups, take out the back bends if they don't work today. It looks good, Amanda. Hips up and back, down dog. Breath is free flowing. One more, look where you wanna go. Step or float, top of mat, get there light. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, folds. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, getting warm. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head fall. Long spine on the inhale, step or float through your vinyasa. Whatever works, you can always just go back to a down dog. Up dog is smooth, hips up and back, down dog. Breathe the right leg up and back to a three-legged down dog. Lift from your inner thigh so the hip doesn't fly open. Good. So just breathe your right leg up in space. Come forward to a three-legged plank. Take the right knee towards the right tricep. I know Jody's super excited to step her foot. So right knee may not touch the right elbow or the back of the tricep. Just bring it up in the general direction. That's it. Scoop in the belly. Press evenly, firmly through your hands. Extend the right leg up and back through a three-legged down dog. Be deliberate with your movement this morning. Come forward to plank and take your right knee in towards the center line of your body. Good, right leg up and back, three-legged down dog, press firm through the foot. Right knee to the back of the right tricep, one more time, cycle it through one more time. Right leg up and back, press firm. One more, hug the right knee straight in, scoop up the belly, press firm through the hands. Step the right foot all the way forward and through, you're in a low lunge. Have your block at the top of the mat facing the high direction. If you have two, they can obviously go like this, but if you just have one, go in the center, okay? Rip the hips in super strong and rise on your breath, high lunge, crescent lunge. Sometimes if your back is sensitive, it's good to take the, the lunge with a little bend behind your knee. Just keep that in mind. You're high on the ball of the back foot. What you're looking for in this pose is that the eyes of the shoulders are moving up. Eyes of the, um, eyes of the hip points are moving forward rather than down. That's why having the knee bent sometimes helps. Arms slept straight up towards the sky. Fix your eyes on one spot. And find your focus. Heavy in that standing front thigh. Breath is flowing, sun is shining. Start to keep the body, the lower half of the body where it is, just begin to tip forward so you're in this hovering position, right? So it's like you're holding the block. Side ribs are nice and long. It's almost like you're gonna launch off, you will in a second. But what I want you to do this morning is reach for one or two blocks and float to an amended warrior three. Now, when I come to amended warrior three, just because my neck uh, injuries, I fist my hands, but you can also kind of tent the fingertips to create extra space for yourself. What you're looking for is everything very neutral. 
So you're not hit. Yep, you got it, Laura. Perfect. Perfect. If you have just one block, it's fine. Don't get sad. It goes in the center. You're lifting from the inner thigh like you just did in that warrior, that crescent, you know, from that down dog. And breathe. Okay, so now what's going to happen is, is you're going to hug your left knee in towards your navel and round your spine, point your toe. It's going to look like this, like a little ball. Good. You're going to extend the left leg back to that warrior three with the blocks. Good. You're going to take your left knee to the back of your left tricep, like a little ball round in. It's a subtle movement. Think outer hip. Extend the leg back. One more cycle like that. Hug the knee in. Scoop up the belly. You can just move a little. You don't have to move a lot. Extend the leg back. Activate. A little soft bend behind the front leg. One more. Left knee back a left tricep in the general direction like a little ball. Extend the leg back. Pause. Step back, warrior one. Now in warrior one, you can have a little body tip forward if you feel it in your low back. If you're okay, straight up and down, that's fine. That looks good. Steer the left side of your body forward. Good. And your arms can kind of be any position. Jazz hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not musical. I have no idea. Breathe. Hands to frame your front foot through a vinyasa or simply go to a down dog. You kick. You can just add in a couple push-ups and then go to a downward facing. Once you get to down dog, breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog, and pause. Just keep it in space for a moment. Feel. Feel the right side of your body hugging in. Feel the lift of your inner left thigh plug down. Good. Come forward to plank. Let's go outer hip first. Let's draw that left knee towards the outer part of that left tricep area. In the general direction, arms are straight up and down. Left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Come forward to plank and hug the left knee, scoop in the belly, arms are straight up and down, back leg is strong to the center. Left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. One more cycle like that. Left knee, back a left tricep to open the hip, work the oblique. Left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. One more. Hug the left knee in and up. Scoop up the belly. Land the left foot forward and through. Arrange the feet. Rise on your breath, crescent lunge. Soften behind the back right knee. You're high on the ball of your back foot here. Steer the hip points forward. Energize the arms. Keep the neck nice and neutral. Find a dristy. Find your breath. Kind of like I have to zip it up. Nice. Keep the lower half of the body in a strong shock structure. Just start to pivot and kind of arrange the torso in a leaning fashion. Like you're finding that zipping of the side body. Your left hip is gripping in. Your arms are reaching out. You're hovering. Reach for one or two blocks and float the right leg up so it's hip height. Amended warrior three. It's not as strong. It's warm. Very nice. Inner thigh is squared off. Yeah, so take your right inner thigh, Jody, and turn it down towards the ground. Flex the foot. Good. You got it. Okay, so here you go. Keep your hands on the blocks. Let's go ahead and hug the left, the right knee in towards the navel, straight to the center to start and round like a little ball. And then extend the right leg back, three-legged warrior three, little warrior three here. So let's hug in right knee, right tricep, and hug in like a little ball. Extend it back. One more cycle like that. Go straight in first, hug it in like a little ball, do it slow. And then extend it back, flex. One more, soften behind the left knee a little. Right knee, right tricep, hug it in like a little ball. Extend it back, pause. Warrior one, step back. Warrior one, steer the right side of your body forward. Make sure the stance is long enough and wide enough. Press firm through the feet. 
Hands to frame your front foot, move through a vinyasa of choice. Chaturanga push-up, up dog or cobra, none of it if it doesn't feel good. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Get there light. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Sit into your first chair pose. I know you're super excited about it. Stick your butt way back. Shoot up to stand up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. So let's do a couple together. You look really thrilled. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Heavy in your heels. Chair pose. Think porta potty. It's all good. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine prepare, step or float through your version of a vinyasa. Up dog is smooth, press active, hips up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, rise on your breath, warrior one. We're all gonna move at different speeds, don't feel rushed. Hands back down through a vinyasa. That heater get, gives off some good, good juice, yeah. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back down dog. We'll be out here like during a snowstorm. Left foot forward, back foot uh, turns, warrior one. Hands back down through a vinyasa of your choice. Being in a down dog is fine and just holding and breathing, depending on what's happening here. Down dog is an opportunity to regain focus. Come back to your breath. Keep your arms as straight as you can. Look where you want to go. Step or float top of mat. Long spine, keep your weight forward. Exhale, fold into yourself. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. You can do it with your feet a little separated. Totally fine. Press up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Just like that again. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Heavy in your heels for chair. Stick your butt way back. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine on the inhale, step, step through your vinyasa or float. The up dog is smooth, press even. Hips up and back, down dog. The right foot lands, the back foot turns, rise on your breath, warrior one. Come up with control. Back down we go through a vinyasa, adding or subtracting your push-ups. When you arrive in down dog, land your left foot forward, turn your back foot strong, rise. Warrior one, you got it. Hands back down through a vinyasa, upward facing. Hips up and back, down dog. Be still and down dog. Look where you wanna go, step or float top of mat. Long spine, exhale, fold. Chair, heavy in your heels. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. One more for good luck. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, heavy in your heels for chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, down dog. Nice work, right foot forward, back foot turns, rise, warrior one. Hands back down through a vinyasa. Left foot lands on your breath, warrior one. Everyone's alignment looks really good. Back down we go through a vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your down dog today, just turn your toes to the left and heels to the right. And then lean on your right hand for a Vashi Stas in the side plank. You can modify, you can drop your forearm, you can drop your bottom knee. But what we're going for, for today, hopefully you can see at home, is that I'm staggering my feet. My left foot's in front of my right. My left foot is turned on a strong angle like a warrior two. And I'm stacking it up. Nice, Maria. You got it. Top arm can stretch up and forward if you feel like you have that range of motion. I normally just need to stack it. From your bottom hip through your top hip, you lift. Mm -hmm. 
Left hand down, down dog. When you arrive in down dog, keep your feet the way they are. Just turn your toes to the right and heels to the left. And then left hand, you're going to bring it out a schmidt smidgen. Lean on it. Vashi stats in a side plank. So the right foot is now on a strong angle in front of the left. Yeah. Nice work. Now, when you have your foot turned like that, it actually gives you a little bit more like oof. So you could really lift from your bottom hip to your top hip. There you go. Jody. it looks awesome. Yeah, breathe. Stay with it. Nice, Laura. Beautiful, Katie. Everyone looks good. Stay with the breath and the feeling. Right to a dog. Yep, right to a dog. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine, keep your weight forward. Exhale, fold. Share pose, weight in your heels. Shoot up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. I want to teach a little untraditional way. It's, it's more fun. It gets you out of your head. Stand on your right leg and bend your left leg up into a tree pose. So you're, everybody's on their right leg and the left leg bends up into a tree, okay? Now, my tree, obviously, my foot's up high, but of course, it could be down low, and you could hold on to shit if you need to. People, the wall, right. And then the arms grow. You're like, can you hold me up today? Right, you could go against the heater. I think I've had that happen with people. They're like leaning against the, the furniture. Good. So the goal here is just to find balance and stability. It's not always there. Grip the hips in, energetically reach up and feel the lift of your ribs. And it's, it's a little floppy, it's a little topsy-turvy, that's the point. Stay with it. Grip the right hip in super strong. So transition is its own pose. Do it slow. Don't think too much to see if you can create the shape. You're going to step into warrior two. Yep. Open hips towards the pool. Warrior two. Back foot goes on a little angle. Arms spread open nice and wide. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Wrap your inner right thigh open. And then five or six breaths we're going to hold. It's good. I'm getting a Canasta game right now. They're texting. So it's very, very, very important. Breathe the, I know, I haven't played. Breathe the heart open, breathe the chest open. Good, lengthen the tailbone. Turn your left toes, Jody, a little more towards the steps. The other way, hon. Turn it in, perfect, towards the steps, there you go. Well, there's steps both directions. It was very bad advice on my part. Four more breaths, stay with it. Bend heavy into that standing front thigh. Wrap your inner right thigh open. Close your eyes and just let the feeling kind of move through you. Flip the palm reverse, but stay heavy in the front thigh. Reverse warriors is a soft opening of the front side of the body. Straighten the right leg on track. You're actually in a reverse triangle. So your right leg goes straight and your back leg is straight, and your right arm is reaching up out of your right hip, up and back. Stay with that. Triangle pose, right hand, right shin, or to a block, depending on you. Left arm extends up. Create the space that you need so there's a lift from your right hip to your armpit. Yeah. Perfect. And it's almost like you're moving the pant leggings up your leg. That's it. There's a hooking in of your right hip, an anchoring of your left leg. And you should feel it along both sides of your obliques as you hold. Look sideways or look up into the sky. Stay with it. Three more breaths. So look down and see if you could seamlessly float to an Ardhan Trindrasana. 
block can go any height that needs to for your balance. Off the edge of the right baby toe is what we're looking for. Enough forward that your side ribs are long. Left arm can spread up towards the sky or your hand could be on your hip if your balance is shoddy today. Lift from that inner left thigh. Yeah. You got it. Grip the right hip in super strong and in, add in the bind if you feel like you need it today. Yeah. And then how can you find some lightness in this pose? So it's not such like, you know, mental challenge. Make it so it's a little bit more effortless. Think a little less, feel a little more, and just be. Nice work. Stay with it. Left hand down, square it off first. Land the feet together at the top of the mat. Sit into chair. Once you arrive in chair, slide your hands to prayer. Feet can be separated a little if you need. Hook the elbow twist to the right. You can air twist too if lower back is sensitive like I'm demonstrating here. Nice work. Weights in your heels. Watch that the left knee doesn't slide past the right. That's the trick. Spin the chest open, look sideways. Not nope, keep going, keep twisting. Chair pose, don't get angry, chair. Sit a little deeper in chair. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Stand on your left leg, bend your right leg up, tree. Tree pose, they're on your left leg, yep. Be at the top of the mat in tree. Arms rise up towards the sky. A little wiggling, a little wobbling. Grip the left hip in super strong. Find the lift of the side ribs. And then see if you can kind of just look up with your eyes a little. Keep the strong structure of the standing front leg and the arms moving up and the energy flowing. Slide into warrior two. Just going to step open warrior two. And it's not going to be perfect. You may need to rearrange a little bit. Yep. Spread the collarbone, spread the chest. I always check in, make sure the back foot's a little bit on an angle and the front knee's tracking open. And then that you're evening your heart and chest. Sometimes we like to lean a little bit more forward or lean a little back. Think of the uh, the squat we started with and see if you can find that that evenness. Close your eyes and just breathe. Sit a little deeper. It's just a feeling. See if you can embrace it, not a run away from it. Three more breaths. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior, pause here, a pretty significant bend in that front thigh, a reaching up and back. And then start to straighten your left leg on track. You can keep a soft little bend. You may need to scoot your right foot in a little. You're in a reverse triangle pose. Your right hand sliding softly down the back of that right thigh. And then you'll pivot forward, Trikonasana triangle, your left hand on your shin or block, you pick. And you may need to shorten it a little. Yeah, right arm extends up towards the sky. Look sideways, look up. Find the space that you need to maintain the structure of the pose. You got it. Lean back a little bit. Stay with the breath right here. Hook the left hip in. Anchor the right leg a little more. Keep
keep everything the way it is. Your right arm can stay moving up or your hand can come to your hip. Float up, Arden Shrimdrasana Half Moon. Move the block enough forward and over to the left that you can find the space from hip to armpit. Lift the inner right thigh, flex the right toes and stack it up. Stay with it. Beautiful job. Add in whatever you need here. Lightening the load, balance, bind. The moments that you get to hold and the moments that we grow, we get a little stronger. If you add it in anything fun, release into a half moon. Yeah, be here for a sec. Look to the floor, square it off first and then land the feet together and sit into chair. Slide the hands to prayer at heart, inhale the breath, hook the elbow, twist to the left. So listen, air twisting works great for some of us, right? Or if you wanna hook, or you can even rest your elbow in the center of the thigh, you pick. Open up the arms if you want a little more. The biggest thing is the alignment, that the right knee is not sliding past the left. Yeah, looks good guys. So drop your seat a little more. Yeah. Think, uh, Laura, think butt back towards the pool. Yeah. Stay with it. Look sideways, look up, breathe. Chair pose. When you get to this chair, you want to sit a little deeper, like really feel your body and its action creating a strong shape. And then you shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Good, everyone's got their blocks at the top because you're gonna need them here. All right, stand on your right leg and cross your left ankle over the top of the thigh. It just looks like this, like a figure four. Your hands on hips or your arms straight up towards the sky, start to sit into a chair, ankle to knee. Yeah. Couple options for today in the ankle to knee. I actually like to wrap the left arm underneath the right. You might like this, Katie. And then you can come forward and you can hook. If your balance sucks, you can just have your hands on these blocks and really work on flexing that left foot around the outside of the right tricep and really steering the hips back. So the trick is, is that you have to be really heavy in the right leg. So Joe, just switch legs so we're on the right leg. Yeah. If you feel like the foot is sliding off, sometimes you actually need to like manually adjust it. Good. So if you're in these eagle arms, you're kind of rounding into it a little and you're holding. Stay with it. Steer the hips back. Weights in that standing right heel. And you feel, you feel a lot. Start to lift the torso up wherever you are. Unravel your arms if they went into an eagle. Warrior two. Yeah. I know it's untraditional. It's nice. It's different. We're starting off those that celebrated a new year doing things different. Yes. Wrap the inner right thigh open. You're already here once. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Yep. I know that one's always a little funky, right? You're like, which way am I going? Come back and rest your hand on a block to the instep of the foot and the left arm up. This is called B variation of extended side angle. So take your block and place it to the instep of your right foot. Drag it back, Laura, so it's literally to the, the instep of your foot. You can go any height that works for you, or your right arm can even be on the top of the thigh. Left arm can wrap behind you for a half bind, if that feels good, and then there's a turning of the ribs. Good. Steer the right hip under, turn the bottom ribs, look sideways or look up. Good, stay with this right here. If having the bind doesn't feel good in your body, then dump it, don't do it. Stay with me. It's so sunny here, I could barely see my zoomers, but what I'm seeing looks good. You got it. Not complaining about the sunshine. Steer the hip underneath a little more, two more breaths. We're moving into a funky transition, guys. 
Move the block forward, unravel the arms. Okay, right palm's gonna go flat down. Okay, right palm's gonna go flat down. Left leg's gonna stay the way that it is. It's in a warrior two foot. Right leg's gonna bend into a tree. The knee can be down on the ground if this is too much. Yes. Now, if you have the uh, ability to lift up, plug the right foot anywhere in the inside of the left leg and you're kind of in a sideways tree. Three, you got it. Two, lift the knee from the ground if you can. One, release, dog. If it didn't work out, it's okay. That's the point. Good, move through a vinyasa, push up to an up dog and hips up and back down dog. Look where you wanna go, step or float top of mat. Long spine on the inhale, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Have your blocks ready for you because most likely you'll need a little bit of assistance. Stand on your left leg, cross your right ankle over the top of the thigh. I literally have to make the shape for myself depending on the day, okay? Arms can go up, hands can be on hips, anything goes. You're standing on your left leg. And then start to sit. And if you start to sit and you're like, okay, my foot is sliding off my leg, like give it a little bit of assistance, wrap it, and then wrap the right arm under if you're gonna go into eagles. So before you go, Katie, let's get that hip a little bit more. Yeah, so take your foot and like literally slide it. Yeah, there you go, and then sit. Perfect, and then you can add the eagle arms if that feels good for you. That's like runner's hip, it's like hello. Actually, it's the driving leg, and then fold. Or hands can be on blocks, and you can just be more of an arresting pigeon. You got it, Steph. Flex the foot around the outside of your left tricep like this. Hook it. Yeah, because when you're going to eventually go into arm balance, that's how you're going to need to get the hook. Perfect. Couple more breaths. It's juicy. The weight should be in your standing heel. Your hips are steering back. Okay. Start to lift up slow, but keep the shock structure of the legs. Unravel the arms. Warrior two. Step open. Warrior two. Back foot on a strong angle. Arms spread nice and open. Flip the palm reverse. Come through a B variation. Hand to the instep of the foot. You could use a block. You could also rest your arm on your thigh if that's not working for today. Right arm stacks open. Half bind, no bind, hand to hip. I think the bind feels good after everything we've done. There's a turning of the chest, looking over the right shoulder. I have to say the trick in this pose is having the back foot on a very strong angle. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good, Amy. Gripping that hip in, the bottom left hip, and then turning your ribs. So think, Maria, think, lean back into your inner thigh with your left arm. Uh-huh. Take your left tricep, the back of your arm, and make a magnet to the inside of the leg. Other arm, left arm. That arm. There you go. Press, 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 because that's where you're getting the hip opener. And then turn. Couple more breaths. Okay, unravel that top arm. Don't go yet, because we're gonna do the funky side plank, okay? Yeah. So take the left hand down. Mm -hmm. Left palm goes flat, right foot's gonna stand an angle. Left arm is the side plank arm, guys. So this bottom left leg is gonna bend up into a tree into the inner part of your right thigh. The knee can rest down on the ground if you can't quite get it, and the right arm extends up. The right foot's got to be at a very strong angle in order for you to get that lift. You got it. Perfect. Even if you can lift the knee an inch or two, you might surprise yourself. It's fun. Down dog. We feel like a kid again for a second. Nice work. Step the right foot forward, crescent lunge. High on the ball of your back foot. So when you do stuff like that, it makes things like this easy. 
right? You're like, oh, this is nothing. Hands to prayer at heart. Inhale the breath, lean out, hook the elbow and twist. So you're in a crescent twist, guys. You can always have your back knee down like I'm demonstrating here. You could always be more upright and just air twisting. There's so many ways to be in the practice. If your body is giving you signs that something's not working, listen. Open up your arms if you want more, just stay. Two more. Good, hands to frame your front foot, pause. Scooch your back foot in a lot, a lot, like a three foot distance. Yeah, bring your hands to your hips, come halfway up and come the rest of the way up. We're gonna set up for twisting triangle because we it's gonna feel good. Walk the right foot over to the right, step your back foot in a little. You want about three feet between your two feet unless you're super tall. Right hand on hip, left arm extends up. Inhale the breath, you're gonna come halfway down and then remind yourself that your right hip has to go back. So like give it a little movement back and then come the rest of the way down into the twisting triangle. Right hand can be on the flat part of your back. Stack it open. The trick with any of these poses is that you don't wanna look back. You wanna look sideways or you wanna look up towards the sky and that's gonna keep the chest open. Two more. Right hand down, excellent, excellent work. Step to a dog, just step to a down dog. Just let your body be in the shape of a down dog. So the hips stay high that way. The left foot lands into crescent lunge. Yep, left foot forward, back leg strong, rise, crescent lunge. You're high on the ball of your back foot. Hands drag to prayer at heart, inhale the breath, lean out and twist. So if your back is sensitive, stay upright. You could drop your back knee. You got it. You can also rest your elbow to the center of the thigh and go a little less intense. Maria, you could try this too. You could kind of point your elbow into the top of the fleshy part of the thigh and it's a little less aggressive in the lower back. Yeah. Lean back in this pose a little bit or drop the knee. Yeah. Stay with it, Jess. It looks really good. Open up your arms for a little bit more action or just stay. Nice, Katie. Back leg super strong. Three more. I know you didn't want to hear that. Hands to frame your front foot, pause. Scooch your back foot in enough that it's a shorter, tighter stance. Hands to your hips, come halfway up, then come the rest of the way up. Left hand on hip, right arm extends up. Inhale the breath, lots of power from that back leg. Come halfway down, steer the left hip back, and then reach out for the block, twisting triangle. Left arm can open up towards the sky. Good. Just remind you, you don't want to look backwards. You want to look sideways or look up. Nice. Two more. Hands to frame your front foot step to a dog, just go to a down dog. When you're in this down dog, drop your forearms down to the ground, walk your elbows in a little closer and clasp your hands. So it's dolphin pose. Your head doesn't touch the ground in dolphin. Nope. Yeah, it's like a tighter, shorter down dog. Walk your feet in, closer, closer, closer. There you go. Perfect. Now, wrap the sides of your triceps in and breathe your right leg up and back towards the sky to a three-legged dolphin pose. And if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. You can always drop to your knees if it's too much. Nice work. There's a hugging in of your outer triceps, the working deep of your core. 
Okay, kind of keeping with the theme. The right leg is still lifted, guys. Right knee towards the right tricep. It's not actually going to touch. Yep. Right leg up and back, three-legged dolphin pose. Right knee in towards the navel, hug in. Right leg up and back, three-legged dolphin. Lower the right foot to the floor. Stay with me. Breathe the left leg up and back. You're almost there. Yep. Keep it in space for a second. Feel what that feels like. And then the left knee draws to the outside of that left tricep. Amanda, just do the other side. You did, did the wrong leg. Left leg up and back. It doesn't matter. It's just yoga. Left knee in. Even just a small movement is going to get you really to feel. Left leg up and back. Lower the left foot to the ground. Child's pose. Your arms can be forward or back, whatever feels good. Yes. Tabletop position. Yep, so tabletop position. Curl the toes into the mat, tabletop position. Extend the right leg back in space, extend the left arm forward. Mm -hmm. Reach the left arm back, bend at your right knee crease. Grab your ankle, kick up and back. Steer the chest forward. This is a back bend. Grip the right hip in. If you can't get hold of your ankle, don't force it. Just create the shape. So just bend the leg in half and pretend like you're reaching for it. And that is just fine. Release the arm and the leg in opposite directions. Keep the lift of the right leg. Left hand comes down. Hips lift up and back to a three-legged down dog. Bend the knee and open the hip today. Any amount that works for you. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to flip the dog, you can. If you want to flip the dog, you can. If you don't know what flipping the dog is, yeah, probably don't do it. Top arm pulls you back around. Nice, Katie. Right leg is in space. Slide it forward, half pigeon. Yeah, half pigeon. You made it. Half pigeon pose. That's your body, but more importantly, your mind and your breath. Just enjoy the posture. Tabletop position. Yeah, curl the toes into the mat. Left leg extends back to a three-legged tabletop. Right arm extends forward. You pause wherever you think, yep. So left leg is back, right arm forward. Wherever you think you need to stop, you pause there. Right arm reaches back, left leg bends. So you may or may not be able to grab the ankle. Don't force it. If you can, the kick goes up and back and the chest moves forward. If you can't get hold of your ankle, don't worry about it. Just create the shape and steer the chest forward. Everybody's built a little different or a lot different. Extend the arm and the leg in opposite directions. Keep the lift of the leg so it stays engaged. Right hand down, hips up and back to a three-legged down dog. Left leg is in the air. Bend the knee and open the hip any amount that works for you. If you know you have the flip dog in you, you step around and you flip. Right. Top arm and top leg slowly takes you back around to that three-legged down dog. And then the left knee slides forward for half pigeon. Come forward half pigeon on the left side and fold. I don't think we need the heater anymore. Couple more breaths. Stay with me. We're almost done.
start to come up, lean on the left side. Yep, swing the right leg around. Take your block, everyone has one. It's gonna go the long direction. So you're gonna lay down on your backs, okay? Like a little bridge, but your block's gonna go low, okay? Slide the block underneath the low back to the sacrum area. So when you place the block on the, under the sacrum, it's not digging into the butt, okay? So the left leg's gonna stay bent and the right knee is just gonna hug in towards the chest. The right knee hugs in towards the chest, the left leg bends. Good. Extend the right leg up towards the sky. Be behind the meaty part of your thigh, make a clasped hand. So your lower back is on the block, your left leg is bent in half, and your right leg is straight up. And if it needs to have a little bend, that's fine. Let your straight leg fall into your clasped hand. So you begin to feel the back side of your right leg getting a stretch. Rebend the right leg, give it a nice squeeze in towards the chest. Lower the right foot so you're in a little baby bridge with a block. Hug the left knee and give it a good squeeze. Okay, give it a nice tight squeeze in. And then extend the leg up and grab anywhere behind the fleshy part of the thigh for a hamstring release. Rather than pulling the leg towards you, let the leg fall away into your clasped hands. Hug the knee back in towards the navel. Lower the left foot for a supported bridge. Robot the arms. Good. Stay here. Move on if you feel like you need more or just extend both legs up towards the sky. If you feel that the block needs to go higher, then readjust it. Because you may feel like, okay, I've got this and I can actually lift my legs up and be higher. Yeah. And then close your eyes. You can clasp your hands around the block. We're going to hang here for about 30 seconds. Yep. Before we move into Shavasana. Bend the knees in half, take the feet flat to the floor. Yep, once the feet come down, lift the hips enough that the block slides out and then lower the lower back down. Squeeze the knees in towards the chest, give them a pretty nice squeeze and take a happy baby, reach for the outer blades of your feet, pull the knees down around the rib cage. You got it. Yeah, you can rock a little right, rock a little left. It's more like a dead bug. And then squeeze the knees one more time in towards the chest and slide into Shavasana. If there's something else you need, a little supine twist, of course, take it. Complete rest right now. Complete rest. The next minute or two, just be still.
take a deep breath in and a full complete breath out. Arm stretch up over the top of the head. Give yourself a full body stretch. And then hug the knees in towards the navel. Give them a nice squeeze in. And rock up however it feels best for your practice today and sit up nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall and pray that we don't have a, a, a challenging winter and the weather stays like this forever. Bring the hands to prayer. <laughs> Bow your head for a moment. It's a good wish. Lift the head, open the eyes. Namaste. Those that are bearing the hurricane, good luck. God bless. We'll call this the hurricane flow. <laughs> have a great